Well, hey there. Canon has just updated the Canon C70 to shoot internal raw to SD cards. So here's my video. Same video as everybody else. Oh no, 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 my friend. Today I'm here to tell you about the quirks this camera has while shooting in raw. Bam, now roll the intro. What? What do you mean there's no intro? Where's the graphics guy? First thing is that you will not be able to use digital image stabilization while shooting in RAW. Digital IS requires punching in on the sensor to add the extra data that the camera uses to stabilize the image, which the camera cannot do while providing you with a RAW readout of the sensor. Makes sense. Second thing is RAW pipeline. If you are editing in Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, things are great and you have full access to the flexibility of the RAW codec as well as the ability to adjust its settings. But if you are a Final Cut editor, while you can install a plugin to edit the RAW codec, you don't have the ability to change the recording settings like ISO, white balance, sharpness, etc. Now, while for the most part this is fine, if you run into an issue where you may have clipped data with your ISO setting, you won't be able to change that in Final Cut. So you'll have to bump it back out to another program to change those settings, render it out, and then import it again into Final Cut so that you can edit in Final Cut. Blech. Next up, you can't change recording modes when shooting in RAW. No pre-recording, no slow and fast motion, and no time lapses. You are also limited to 60 frames per second in RAW light quality, and 30 frames per second in RAW standard quality while shooting in 4K. So there's no 120 frames per second B-roll for all you camera flickers out there. Another thing is that you cannot record under 800 ISO while recording in RAW, but afterwards, using settings, it seems that you can drop below 800 ISO. You are also highly recommended to shoot in C-Log while shooting RAW. The camera will tell you that the noise the image will increase if you shoot in a standard profile while shooting in RAW. But really, you probably aren't trying to shoot in the standard profile if you are shooting in RAW, so it might just serve as a good reminder that, hey, you left the camera in RAW if you see this message. Also, I've been using V60 SD cards to record the highest quality RAW and have not gotten a dropped frame or a warning from the camera that the SD card couldn't handle the recording. This does not mean that it is recommended, but it has seemed to work just fine for myself and others. All right, next up, bugs. The bugs that I have found before still exist in this firmware. One of them I'm thankful for, though. You can still punch into Super 16 mode with one button. Learn how here. But unfortunately, there is still an issue with auto aperture while using variable aperture RF lenses. But I think this is a very specific use case and not a lot of people are gonna run into this issue. I talked about it in my last firmware video. If you like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. I'm a videographer and editor based out of Toronto. And now I'm gonna get back to playing Elden Ring. See ya.